Today I'm going to show you how to make a vegan shortcrust pastry using spelt flour. Shortcrust pastry can be used for so many wonderful recipes. I use it for both sweet and savoury dishes. And not only do I think homemade tastes best, but there are also benefits to making it with spelt flour. Spelt is so much easier to digest in comparison to modern day wheat due to the way that the gluten in spelt is formed. This means in order for you to create a beautiful pastry with a light texture, avoid overworking or overmixing the dough because the composition of gluten in spelt is very fragile. That said, it's the fragility of the gluten that makes it easier to digest, so you're less likely to feel uncomfortable or bloated after eating. Now this recipe on average yields about 540 grams, sometimes a little bit more, and it's really easy and it's quick to show you how. I'm starting off with one cup of spelt flour and sieving it into a bowl. Sieving is an important step to ensure that you don't have any lumps in your pastry. Then two tablespoons of caster sugar goes in, half a teaspoon of salt, and one third of a cup of ice cold water. Okay, so ice cold water is best for making this pastry as the temperature of the water really affects the, the overall texture. So cold water helps give a nice sort of lighter texture to the pastry as opposed to it being all sort of chewy and dense. We don't want chewy and dense. Actually, I'm only really using a fork so you can hear me say that. I'm going to switch to an electric whisk now because it's so much quicker. <laughs> Add one quarter of a cup of soft but not melted coconut oil. Mix all that together. Now I have switched to a handheld whisk with dough hooks, but you can of course use a standard mixer or as I briefly did before, a fork. One third of a cup of ice cold water goes in again and then continue to mix. Add another cup of spelt flour through the sieve. This is a repetitive process, but I find this is the best way to achieve a lump-free pastry. Mix it up again and finally you can add your remaining half a cup of spelt flour and continue to mix your dough. Don't be concerned if there's still a little excess flour around the bowl, this will actually help prevent it from sticking to the sides while it's resting. This should be sticky to touch but not actually stick to your fingers. And by the looks of it, the dough is now ready to rest. Okay, so it's at this point that you need to pop it in the fridge for about an hour and then you choose to cover it with cling film. I prefer to use a damp tea towel. Okay, so I have left this in the fridge for an hour and I'm just uncovering it and I'm going to leave it at room temperature for about 20 to 30 minutes, just long enough for it to be easier to use and roll out. However, you can leave this in the fridge for up to three days or you can even pop it into the freezer if you don't wish to use it immediately. I am good to be using it. So that's how I make it. It might not look tasty right now, but in my upcoming video, I will be showing you some truly delicious recipes using shortcrust pastry. Thanks for watching.